Hello everybody, my name is Johnny Jetrod. Let me turn that down real quick. My name is Johnny Jetrod and I haven't recorded in a while. I had to get a new device. I hope this picture looks a whole lot more vivid for you. I'm still working on the audio in the room here. I found a couple different ways where I can I can make it sound better. But I got some breaking news I want to go ahead and release to you guys right now. Mueller, uh, Special Agent Mueller or or the Special Investigator Mueller, if you want to call him that, has assembled a grand jury in the Russia investigation into election meddling. Now, what does that mean for Trump? It doesn't really mean a whole lot against Trump. What it means is that uh, there is sufficient evidence for Special Investigator Mueller and his team of investigators to assemble a grand jury to present this evidence that they have to the grand jury to uh, make it a, make a judgment on whether there's charges that should be filed or not. This doesn't necessarily mean, don't get confused about what a grand jury is if you're not aware of it. A grand jury just decides whether charges need to be filed on specific facts or evidences. And, and they may even be looking at the evidence that will be presented to them or supposed evidence to see if it's even uh, evidence that is credible enough to pursue the possibility of, of putting charges on on somebody or something or an entity or a person or a corporation or whatever. But you know, there's a lot that's been coming out lately. They have connected Mueller to James Comey. James Comey, they said that they were connected at the hip back in the uh, early days and and Mueller used to call Comey his his uh, protege and, and, and Comey used to call Mueller his his mentors. So, you know, there's a lot of information that's coming out. They they're connected. They had uh, they had met before James Comey testified uh, to the Senate Intelligence Committee, and to you know for what purpose I'm not sure, but I I would think that, and I'm just going to kind of assume that that Mueller was feeding him information that he can use uh, in front of the Senate Intelligence Committee to keep from incriminating himself in certain ways. Uh, because if, if you know any much, if you know very much about the way people testify in front of Senate Intelligence Committees when there's something wrong or they're guilty about something or there's some information that they know or possibly do know that they don't want to release, they typically have a couple of different things happen. Uh, they, they plead the Fifth Amendment. They have a lapse in memory, which means they don't recall. I don't recall that. I don't have any recollection of that. That's not in my clear memory. Those type statements can save someone from having to actually say something that could incriminate themselves. And pleading the Fifth is something we've seen many, many, many times in the past uh, with these Senate Intelligence Committee investigations. So, you know, this uh, this whole Russia collusion thing, there, there's a whole lot of smoke and still haven't seen any fire. You know, right now, I believe that Mueller, uh, by putting together this, this grand jury, is taking an additional step forward to kind of ensure that he can he can stay in the position he's in because there's been a lot of backlash against the the conflict of interest that he has with this because of his close personal ties with James Comey and other people and there was, uh, there was something that was brought up the other day, an actual U.S. code that this man is actually breaking, Mueller, I mean, 
by being still in the position he is in and having these close personal ties, creating a conflict of interest. So a lot of people say that he ought to recruit himself. So I kind of think that maybe taking this step forward by starting the, uh, the grand jury process is going to put him in a, a position of uh, favorability in the pu court of public opinion, if you will, and kind of ensure that the public and the Democrats see him as a, a credible position that he's in and, and things that he is doing is will satisfy their inquiry into the the subject at hand, if you will. It's very complicated when when we think about all the specific things that are happening with this, it's very complicated. But anyway, I, I just wanted to give you guys that, that update. And I believe that just happened within the last hour or so. Um, I'm sure you won't hear it here first because there's a lot of other people that have breaking stories. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys have been listening to some of my podcasts. I have two podcast uh, playlists now podcast Johnny Jet Rod News Reports and podcast uh, playlist of Conspiracy Theory Thinkers. I've only got two in there right now, but that one I'm going to go ahead and build that up a little bit better because we're going to be talking about certain things that are considered conspiracy theories, but in reality, some people have proven the facts that these theories are actually true, and so Although a lot of people consider them conspiracy theories, we're going to continue to talk about them because I think it's important. So Conspiracy Theory Thinkers is going to be a great playlist over there at Spreaker.com. You have to find it on Spreaker.com or you could just click on it right there in the playlist and you can listen. It's audio only. My last two podcasts, I think I got the audio fixed on that. So I hope you guys enjoy those over there. Tell me what you think in the comments section below about the, uh, the podcasts. Are you interested in them or not? So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video right here. If you want to become a supporter, check out the links in the bottom below. I'm going to put Spreaker in there. Uh, I'm going to also connect my PayPal link down there, my Patreon link down there. You can become an active supporter and help this content become a reality every month and so that I can continue to bring you high quality videos. My name is Johnny Jetrod. Thank you, America.